Howdy everybody, Cub here. Welcome to episode 235 of the Let's Play. Today guys, we are still working on the Bedrock Block project here. And as you can see, we got some work done during the live stream, uh, which is actually up on the channel right now if you want to go take a look at it. Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> I made a major mistake in the live stream, which uh, I guess nobody called me out on until I posted on YouTube. Um, but yeah, see this this side here? This entire side has to be redone, <laughs> because I made it backwards, basically. Um, so the way that the bedrock works is that, you see like this big Z here? This should be like on the opposite side, on all four sides. So here it's fine, here it's fine, and then here, this Z here should be going the opposite way. So it should be like here, and then up. So basically this whole thing is reversed. So we gotta tear it down, make it right. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, so the old wall has now come down, new wall is now going up. Uh, yeah, and obviously we're doing it right this time, so we're starting from this side, coming this way. Uh, and yeah, putting it up in the same pa pattern from this wall to the back wall. So, yep, still working here, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we got the side over here oriented correctly now, as you can see. Uh, so we got this Z pattern right here on the correct side. <laughs> And yeah, we got to make sure and do it correctly on this side, so we don't have to go back and yeah redo this whole thing like I did uh, just now. But uh, we're working on this side now, once again, uh, the same side we left off from the live stream. And so now we just have to yeah fill this side in, fill the other side in, and fill the top in. So I'm going to keep on working on this. Okay, so three layers down, one more to go. And we're going to start this one right over here. Uh, I think this one starts off with this type, so yeah. Come out three, four, four again. And then we go to the black one and just continuing on this pattern like normal. Okay guys, so the sun has now just set. You can barely see it just going down there. And we have finished up the final uh, bit here, the final wall of the bedrock block, which uh, means we are still not quite half done with this. Uh, still a lot of stuff to do here. We have to do the, the top bit here, obviously the big dragon egg on top. Uh, and then also, yeah, we have to uh, work on the floor a little bit. And I think that's what I'm gonna do next. You see our ladder here. Uh, I wonder if I can teleport to the ladder with this. Yep, alright, nice. <laughs> nice, I'm gonna go ahead and take this down actually. But the next step I think we should do is go ahead and lower the floor by one. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and remove all this and then remove the layer underneath of it. Uh, and then yeah, drop it down by one, put glass on top. So that is the next thing we gotta do. But before we can do that, we actually have to repair our tools. We got a couple of tools to repair. We got to repair our sword, our pick, and our bow, I think, all need to be repaired, pretty much. Our shovel, I think, will be good for now. So we'll hold off on that, but let's see what we can do here. Uh, let's see, we're going to need some of this. And we'll need sword and a pick. So let's just go ahead and make those. Let's go ahead and put those down there. Pick. And a sword, we actually only need one stick. There's our sword. And let's go ahead and repair these in the anvil. Hopefully we have enough levels. I think we do. Hopefully it's not too much. There's the pick repaired. Sword, a little bit more expensive, but still not bad. And the bow. This bow might be too expensive, but we'll see. Yep, too expensive. Dang. 
And I'll tell you what, guys. Because we can't repair this bow, let's just go ahead and make a new bow. So I have my all my book and chance in these chests here, as you can see. So I have them sort of organized into, you know, uh, armor stuff and then stuff for fishing rod, pickaxe, bow. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the bow and chance. We need infinity, obviously, I think, would be one. These are some decent ones down here, too, some multiple ones. Uh, we're going to need power five. So let's see what else we got. We got punch and unbreaking. So let's see. Power five. Flame. We could put flame on the bow if we wanted to. Let's see what else. Power five. Power four. Flame. Flame one. Punch one. That could be good. Punch two. Infinity one. Flame one. So we could just save that infinity book there. Put that on there first, I think. Yeah, let's try this. Let's do this. So we're going to go ahead and put this bow in there. Or actually, let's see. How, how many, what, do, what do these have on it? This has power three flame one. Unbreaking three. So maybe we boost this up. This will make this power four, infinity one. Still have flame one and punch one. Then we put power five on it. Hmm, that might work. That might work. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try that. So let's go ahead and put this in here. We'll go ahead and put this one on first. 27. Holy smokes. Um, I kind of want the power 5, so maybe we just do... Maybe we just do this one and then the power 5. Oh, that's 26. Dang. Okay. How about this? This is 5. Okay. <laughs> um, hmm. Dang. Well... This is a conundrum here. I guess we'll just do this one. Why not? Power four. Power five. We can afford it. We can afford it. All right, that works. So there's our new bow right there. Power five, flame one, and breaking three, infinity one, punch one. Punch one. Come on. Got to get that punch two in there. So I'll take both those out there, and now I think we're ready to start the, uh, the floor build. So I'll get out there and start on that. All right, status update. We are now uh, one block lower, and you can see yeah, I got the, the dark uh, black clay all the way around the edge, and now we're just filling this in. All right, guys, so we are now done with the putting on the black stained clay, and we're ready to put down our black stained glass. So a lot of this glass I crafted up during the stream on, I think it was Wednesday or Thursday this week. And we're ready to put this stuff down now. So, I think we'll probably start in this corner and work our way out this direction. So there we have it, guys. The entirety of the floor is now covered with some black stained glass, as you can see. Uh, it is kind of see-through, though, so <laughs> you uh, you got to sort of look to uh, to see it unless you, you know break a block or something that becomes fairly obvious but yeah I think it looks pretty good and it's gonna look even better once we have this whole bedrock block capped off and we still need to cap it off with some more of the bedrock texture and also the dragon egg on top of this uh, in addition to those two things we also have to still dig this area out right here in the middle and then put black stained clay along the side and we'll probably do uh, some combination of those during the live stream on Wednesday and that live stream will be right here on YouTube. So it'll be Wednesday at 7 o'clock p.m. So hopefully I will see you guys there. And the only thing left to do for this episode is to go to the base. I want to show you guys one thing, and then I want to show you guys uh, today's highlighted channel. Okay, so we're back at the base now. And the one thing I wanted to show you guys is actually, let's see, over here. And so this was a viewer suggestion uh, quite recently. And it was that we go ahead and replace our... Um, glass in this uh, this real real time card tracker with a bunch of stained glass that matches the, the stained glass from the ravine. So let's just go ahead and get on to the other side here, so I can show you what I mean better. So that's not what I wanted to show you. And okay, that was <laughs> that was interesting. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I wanted to show you this. So yeah, we got the stained glass here, and we also have the stained glass right up there. 
uh, that now correspond to the uh, appropriate colors for the Rainbow Ravine. So thank you guys uh, for suggesting that. That really adds a lot. And yeah, it looks, looks pretty sweet. Fits well with the ravine. So anyway, let's go ahead and get down to the mine shaft here. Uh, by the way, during the stream, we also added a bunch of um, a bunch of Ender Pearl dispensers around the area, around the world. Uh, so we added one like at the end portal area. We added one. Uh, let's see where we, where else do we add one? We added one in the Nether at the Nether Castle. So we added a few of those as well, and probably up a couple other small things I forgot. But let's go ahead and head on down here, and we'll see if today's highlighted channel is. All right, and just so you guys know, I do have a couple other things uh, suggested that I'm going to add. Uh, in the next few days, I just haven't had time to do it because we've been working on this big bedrock pixel art project, uh, which we will still be working on probably uh, throughout most of this week. But uh, yeah, down here in the mine shaft now, at the end of it, we gotta actually expand this soon. Uh, and yeah, there's a big lava pool in the way, obviously. But the highlighted channel for today is Ethan Brown. So Ethan is actually the guy who uh, brought uh, to my attention that the bedrock pixel art was reversed. And so I fixed it this episode, so thank you, Ethan, for notifying me of that. This is your mine shaft. Let's see how you do against the other competitors. So from Ethan's mine shaft, we got 21 diamonds today, plus a couple other resources here, as you can see. And yeah, pretty good mine shaft today. That puts Ethan at second place on the Fortune 3 leaderboard. So that is all for me today, guys. Uh, be sure to check out the live stream on Wednesday, building up more of the Bedrock Pixel Art, and hopefully the Dragon Egg by that time. And that's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Cub. Goodbye.